All right, so in this video, we're going to walk you through as a student how students will submit a PDF assignment within Canvas. So in the previous video or the previous segment of this video, we showed you how a teacher would go in and create the PDF assignment using a tool called Cami to an external tool for them to set up the assignment. So now from the student perspective, I've signed into my Canvas course. I'm looking at my module screen here, and this is the assignment in which I need to complete for my teacher. So in this example, I'm going to click on the assignment, the PDF assignment that the teacher has already put in. I'll notice that the Cami PDF loads. Um, if, if a student has not authorized their Google Drive or has not authorized Cami to work within Canvas, it'll prompt them to sign in with their Google account, and that's what they would do here. So now that we've got the assignment loaded, I'm now ready as a student to go in and complete the assignment. So in this example, I want to show you how to basically use these markup tools. We're going to focus on just two tools in this example. One is a text box. That's probably going to be the most popular part of this. And the other is just simply highlighting text or highlighting a block of text. So in this example, let's say that I want to insert a text box. So as a student, I'm looking at the PDF. The instructions may be here, and this is where the teacher would have typed in these specific instructions for me, or possibly they're on this, just the PDF itself. So just looking at some of the tools and making this super simple, one of the things that you would want to do as a student in many cases is insert a text box on top of the PDF. So I'm going to choose text box. I've got different color palettes here that I can choose from, different size font. We're just going to leave it at 14 and choose the black font here. I'm going to click, double click in the box provided, and now this is where I could simply type the answers to the question. So I can do this for multiple um, spaces or multiple places inside of that PDF. And so you'll notice I can just click there and I can continue to type. Um, I can click over here. Anytime I double click on the space provided, then I will get my text box that appears there. And so that's how I would insert a text box as a student. Super simple. Just select text box and then go into the space that you want to insert the text box. And when you click there, you'll be able to type right there inside of that text box. Now, in some examples, your teacher may have you go in and um, highlight text or highlight a block of text on a PDF. And how would you do that? We're going to come up here to the markup tool. When I click on the markup tool, I get a couple things here that list uh, different ways to mark up the document. Let's say that I want my text or my highlight to be this yellow color here. I'm going to select the yellow color and then I'm going to steer away from this text highlighter in this example and I'm going to go down here where it says box highlighter. I'm going to select box highlighter and box highlighter is where I can go in and basically make a box around the text that I want to highlight. And so if my teacher is asking me to highlight certain parts of the text or look for keywords in the text um, or, or whatever the specific task may be, by choosing the markup and choosing the box highlighter, I can go in here and select certain parts of the text to highlight. So I may have to highlight different things in different colors. So if I just select a different color, I can simply come back in by using the box highlighter and highlight those different parts of the text. And so those are going to be your two big tools, your uh, markup tool where you're using the box highlighter and then also your text box there. And so by selecting either one of those, I can then insert those into um, the Cami PDF, and this will be ready for submission. If I come back up here to select, I can click the select button, and I can simply come in and select the different things that I've highlighted here, and I get some different options with that. Now, as we move further along in using Cami, and we move further along in using our PDFs inside of Canvas, we'll explore some of these other tools. But we wanted to make it super simple the first video that we put out here looking at different um, options within Cami and PDFs. And so we just showed you the markup tool and we showed you the text box. Now finally, how would you submit an assignment inside of Canvas once you're done? So I've now worked on this. I've provided the, uh, the, the answers that I need to provide. I'm ready to now turn this in as the student into Canvas. I can just simply come over here and in the top right corner of my PDF window, I've got a submit button. So I'm going to click submit there. And it's going to give me some information about ready to submit the assignment. So I click submit. It's going to now submit this into Canvas so that my teacher has the ability to go in and view this in, in SpeedGrader. So I get confirmation as a student that it's been submitted because I get an unsubmit option here where I could retrieve that submission and rework on it if my teacher is now wanting me to work on that in another setting. So that is how a student would go in and submit an assignment, a PDF assignment, using the Cami tool.